What's going on everybody? Welcome back to JJD TV. I'm your host Josh and today we have a brand new signing here at Borussia Dortmund. We've been linked to Mollen, we've been linked to St. Juice, we've been linked to Bailey, a lot of big names have been going around. This isn't one of the big signings, so I don't want to get anyone too overexcited yet. None of the big signings have dropped, but another strategic signing happened today by Borussia Dortmund and it might sound like it's a familiar signing, but don't be overly confused when you see Bruce and Dortmund have signed PSG youth player on a free transfer because it's happened twice before and this is the third time round. Zagadou was the first, Koulibaly was the second, and now Abdoulaye Kamara we have just signed from PSG on a free transfer. And yeah, I mean, it kind of seems like business as usual when it comes to our youth recruitment. Uh, for those of you guys who are not familiar with Kamara, he is a defensive midfielder. He can also play in the back when, when needed, but he's preferred playing at the number six role. Very, very highly sought after. There was apparently a lot of rumors going around that a lot of top international clubs from around the world were interested in him. And of course, he chose Brucey Dortmund. Why wouldn't he choose Brucey Dortmund when it comes to just being able to develop young talent? He's, he's got obviously some connections in terms of young French players. He's probably familiar probably very familiar with Koulibaly and probably Zagadou as well so it seems like my, maybe a good little step for him to bring in and a defensive midfielder is, is big thumbs up in my books considering that some of the some of the defensive midfielders we have right now are kind of kind of aging out we may go out and spend but it's always nice having a talented young prospect like this coming up in the ranks uh, for for the thoughts on the upcoming season though just to give you guys a, a, just some update about it it's planned that he will be playing in the U19s he wants to develop for probably a season or two before he gets a real look at the first team. So don't expect the signing to come right in and, and start. They're planning for him to go for the U19s. They're planning for him to just keep developing, growing his game in, in an environment where he can do so. So I'm not expecting him to get any preseason looks. We still have the game against Atletico Bilbao and Bologna. I really don't expect him to be a part of that or probably even any, any time in the upcoming season just because we have a lot of depth in the midfield. If you look at our depth charts, we, we know we have Bellingham. We know we have Dehoud. We still have Delaney. Question marks are about his future up there. Witzel, Chan, and even Toby Raschel who can come up. If there is a younger player who's going to get looks this season, I'm assuming it's going to be Toby Raschel. But it's, it's fine. It, it's a great young signing on a free transfer you cannot complain with, especially when you hear the likes of all the other big clubs that were sniffing around for him. And... He probably just looked at where's his next best step, where he's going to get that shot, as a lot of young players do, specifically players from PSG, who apparently just love signing for Borussia Dortmund. But I do like that it's not another center back, as we have still Zagadou and Koubali, who are young French left-footed center backs. Kamara will be playing up in the midfield, which is nice. And yeah, I'm hopefully getting to see him go in there under the likes of our U19 team, where he can just hopefully blossom and develop his game. And eventually, down the line, he will have a shot at at, the, at Borussia Dortmund. It is as simple as that. But it, it's going to be an interesting uh, to see how he does. He's going to have some good young talent to play with when he's playing for that U19s, and we'll see exactly how it goes. But it also just reiterates the fact of how Borussia Dortmund are at recruiting talent. Now, going out there and, and spending like $9 million like we did on Jane Sancho, for example, I mean, it's a little bit risk first reward because if Jane Sancho didn't move out, well, that is an okay chunk of money. Now, he obviously did work out. We made a killing off him. But to be able to go out and not only recruit young, talented players, but to get them on a free transfer is honestly just a masterclass. It is. Now, Zagadou is still a question mark around him. If we look back at the two other players that we've gotten from PSG on free transfers to kind of see what this academy can produce. Zagadou is had moments of, of brilliance. He is a big, commanding central defender. Unfortunately, injuries have really, really hurt his career so far, and we're going to have to kind of see where he is, but I mean, there is promise in that. Same goes for Koubali, and so much so, like I said, we've given him the number four kit this year, so really speaks highly to the to the type of player we think that he is going to eventually become. And now Kamaru's the third time round, third time round with the PSG youngster coming in, and I'm, and I'm excited to see what he can do. I'm excited to see what he will be able to bring. But I just want everyone to just kind of relax a little bit right now because I can almost promise you he's not going to get a shot at the main squad. And it's expected. He's very, very young. And it's just it's going to be just a good chance for him to go over to Germany, new, new, learn a new league, learn, learn some new players as well in the club, and see how it, how it goes. In terms of other transfers we're going to talk about, guys, we're going to do a stream later today. So I'm probably going to try to do it around 1 p.m. Eastern time for depending where you guys are. And we'll be talking about some of the other bigger transfers. Marcus Thuram has been linked to us 
I don't know how much I believe it, but you guys are going to be able to listen to me talk about it. The Gladbach winger slash striker will be touching on Daniel Malin. We'll be touching even on when Jane Sancho is going to be presented as a United player and maybe even some other defensive targets. We will be doing that later in the day if you guys want to check that out. But yeah, we the, the deal's done. Abdullah Kamara is a BBB player. He has signed a long-term deal. He has completed his medical. This deal is done. First first of hopefully, well not first, Koble was technically first, but one of the first signings of the summer and I'm expecting a few more. So let me know in the comments guys what you think about Kamara. How do you think that the signing is? I mean, you can't really complain about a free signing, but I want, I'm curious to see if you guys are familiar with Kamara at all. If you have any insight you want to leave in the comments and if you just rate the rate the transfer, one out of 10, put it, put in the number in the comments because I'd probably give it an eight. I don't, I don't know how, exactly how he's going to develop. We know that, but the fact that we got a highly rated youngster for free, I mean, it's got to be an eight for me. And we'll see exactly if he can push it to the nine or 10 eventually down the road. But let me know in the comments, guys, what you think about this. Let me know what other comments um, and uh, other transfers and stuff like that you want to see come out because there's going to be a lot coming out uh, in terms of transfers once this Jane Sancho deal is done. We will be signing a bunch of players, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you got a little bit of an insight on the newest signing to Borussia Dortmund. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like and comment your, uh, your thoughts on the transfer in the comment section. And we will see you guys next time.